Something they don't show you in the Batu caves is that there's a lot of pigeons here. Pigeons are like the second main attraction. We're going up 272 steps here. I am feeling the butt gout. You doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there. Wow, it's pretty cool up there though, huh? Yeah, it is. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy cool. Yeah, it is. It's a rooster. <laughs> Very beautiful and colorful. We have to steep step. <laughs> again. Again. And again. Again. <laughs> It's a pigeon home. Somewhere there, I don't know. You ready to go head back down? You're sweating a lot. Yeah, let's head back down.
supposed to drink that. It's only for humans. Wow. Come from up here, it's kind of cool. Okay, ready? in this bus. Traffic, traffic. Was it an accident? Yeah, there was a crash. Ah. We got on the bus at three. It's 5.16. I don't know if it'll be dark. Well, the sun sets at seven something, so we'll see. We made it. We're moving again. <laughs> I don't think it was that bad. Maybe it was only like, what, 30 minutes or so? How long were we sitting? We were sitting an hour and a half. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe it was that bad. But we're moving on. It's 7 right now. So we're on our way. We're on like the curviest part of the road now, though. <laughs> he is going, baby. He really said, we're late. We've got places we need to be. Let's go. Then oh. oh my god, it's a legit gondola. <laughs> oh, sorry, this was our <laughs> Alright, so we're getting on the gondola because we're gonna go up to the Chinsui Caves Temple. And this is like actually like a ski lift, huh? Yeah. Like, an, like a nice ski lift. <laughs> Get you getting on, Steve. <laughs> I wanted to like run off. <laughs> oh my god, it's been years since I've been on one of these. Years. Since I was little, since I was little.
lot of escalators to get down. <laughs> Made it. After a two hour delay on the bus, taking the gondola all the way up, back down, and about what felt like 20 escalators later, we made it to the Chin, Su Chin, Chin Sui Caves Temple here in Genting Highlands, Malaysia. Very beautiful. Looks newer and uh, Oh wow, there's some shops down there actually. But we came just in time. The sun sets at 7.23. It's about seven o'clock right now. So uh, we made it in a good amount of time to be able to kind of see a little bit. Looks like that's kind of the caves. Chin Sui Caves Temple was commenced in 1976, started in 1976, and completed in 1993 at a cost in excess of 10 million ringgit. That's... In 93, yeah. Yeah, in 93, 10 million ringgit. Two million dollars. About two million dollars. And it officially opened on the 29th of March 1994. <laughs> 1994. So it's a little bit older than you and a little bit younger yeah, than me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Baby, look at this Very mountain. Very beautiful though, beautiful views. So when we were in Thailand, we went to many Buddhist temples actually, but this is our first Chinese. Well, wait, is it actually? Didn't we go to, we went to one, didn't we? Oh yes, we went to the one, one um, Chinese Buddhist temple when we were in Koh Samui, but this is the first one that we've been to here in Malaysia. Um, and it's our first, the first Buddhist temple that we've been um, in Malaysia as well. So it's kind of nice to see the difference between like Thai Buddhism and Chinese Buddhism because the architecture is a little bit different. It's pretty cool. Should we go over there? Hey, baby. Yeah. This is the whole point that makes it a cave, I think. So we should walk that.
or something. That's an animal. Oh. Wow, that is a beautiful Buddha. You know, it may be a newer temple, but this is actually a really beautiful, well thought out one. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is maybe one of the first that we've been to that has had a lot of artwork and kind of comes off almost a little bit more, it comes off more informational and like there's teachings, you know, like there's a lot of signs that you can read. So. Because like Buddhism, Hinduism, all of these religions are so complex that it's kind of nice to be able to read something and understand a little bit more. It's the controller of the reviving hell. It's located beneath the southern Huo Zhao stone under the great ocean. Those who abducted men or women occupied properties not belonging to them, caused others disability, doctor who malpractice, couples who cheated marriage, people who have not repaid the four graciousness and committed suicide will be punished here after death. So I guess we start in like the hell? Yeah, second hell. Yeah. There's the first hell back there. Yeah. I can see what that one was. So that's for all the bad people. Also, it's really nice that we're coming at this time. One, because it's like, there's not a lot of people. It's basically empty here. But also, it's really cool. This is the first time since being in Kuala Lumpur that I actually feel like I'm not burning up and sweaty. And we are like in the highlands, so it's a little bit more mountainous and there's a lot more like fog um, coverage. So it's nice to to have it kind of to ourselves and then also to have a little bit of breeze. And yes, I am wearing white linen. <laughs> yeah, that lady was just getting cut in half. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's huh. not, uh, not faint. It's not the faint heart here. Should we turn around? No, let's keep going. That didn't sound nice. Let's keep going, baby. I have never heard a bird like that. <laughs> baby? What? That doesn't sound like a bird. That is just right there, though. It what? We just go right around here. Come on, baby. Baby? What, baby? Baby, I don't know. Here, I made it. Let's go. Baby. Come on, baby. It's just right down here. I don't want to go. There's nothing around here. What happens if something attacks me? Baby! <laughs> go, 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 go. Go where? <laughs> that was the craziest sounding bird I've ever heard. Was that even a bird? Oh, God. So it's like, no, baby. What are we doing? We gotta go down. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is this what they mean by caves? I think so. Well, it's kind of cool right here, actually, though. Like, this is pretty neat. Wait, I don't know if I should go down here, though. Yeah, that's how you get out. I ha Can I go that way? Either way, baby. Okay, let's go this way. Wait, I don't think so, because there's the. Yes. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Come on, what's that? What was that noise? 
That was my uh, thing scraping. What thing scraping? You do not like that bird. No, it's scaring me. It's probably something totally not harmless or not harmful at all. It's probably harmless, but the myth of it's scary to me. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now let's go this way. That's where you want it to go. Head on back. Right. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> no worries about that. I don't think we can go anymore. Okay, back then to the gondola. Or the oh my God. cable car. Oh yeah, more like up. <laughs> we gotta go up all the escalators again. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is interesting. That was a, that was an interesting temple. Yeah, it was. Those hell images were brutal. The what? The images of hell. I know. Brutal. Brutal. I know. I've never seen anything <laughs> like that before. I was like, whoa. But I liked that there was like a little bit of storytelling with this temple. <laughs> I mean, everyone we've been to has been unique and interesting, you know, in its own way, which I really enjoy about them. And it's so nice to be somewhere where, I don't know, it's a little bit later and it's a little cooler and it just feels kind of nice to be out. We almost didn't make it today. Uh, to this because we thought that we were a little bit too late and we almost were with the delay in the the van but I, I'm glad that we were able to actually make it up because I think sunset is a beautiful time to come either early in the morning or for sunset really nice oh I don't know why I'm out of breath because we're about to take escalators so it's like not a big deal <laughs> oh What'd you think? You liked it? Yeah, I did. Our bus is at 8.45. And it's 7.40. So we have an hour. Oh. I got some pretty cool shots up there. I hope they turned out good. I'm excited about them. We're in our own private gondola. <laughs> Honestly, it kind of scares me a little still. I'm, I don't know, I'm not like, well, uh, it's, it's le you know, it's less scary at night because you can't see anything. Look, there's all the escalators we were going up and down. <laughs> no, this is a beautiful gondola. Very nice gondola. Cable car gondola. I'm used to calling them gondolas. Oh. I think, I think this is my second time I've been in a cable car. I think second, but I could have gone a couple more times. Okay, we're getting off. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> all right. Do the outlet ball, baby.
stuck in traffic on this bus. <laughs> I actually can't believe this.